Indian Everett, Michael Irwin, Joe Theismann. What do these sports personalities have in common? Sadly, all of them suffered from career-ending bone injuries. And such injuries are not only prevalent among sports persons. In fact, approximately 6 million people in the US suffer from some kind of major bone ailment every year. Which means out of the 100 of us sitting here, two could suffer from severe bone injury before the end of this year. A common strategy to treat such ailment involves use of metal implants. However, this strategy has several drawbacks such as rejection of the implant by the patient's body or loosening and detachment of the implant from the insertion site. To overcome all these limitations, I make plastic implants to aid bone healing. Now using plastic implants would be a much better strategy because it would actually help in regenerating bone tissue rather than inserting metal spare parts into our body. Also, this is a very viable strategy because our body has cells that has the capacity to develop new bone tissue. But because the gap between broken bone is very large, as is the case with major bone injuries, these cells lack the structural support to heal them. So the hypothesis of my research is that if we can fabricate an implant that would provide the structural support to these cells, we can use that implant to heal those injuries. Also, the implant will be designed out of such a modified material that it will dissolve out as the new bone is formed so that once the injury is healed, there is no foreign object left in the body. To design such an implant, we have chemically prepared a special type of plastic which is compatible with our body. This plastic is a long chain molecule having reactive functional groups as shown by these red pyramids and these reactive functional groups can be used to couple a specific type of biological molecule shown by this yellow Pac-Man figure. Now this biological molecule is very special because it has a strong affinity for the bone making cells of the body. So by coupling this biological molecule onto this plastic, we provide a site of attachment for these cells onto the plastic. So you can imagine an implant fabricated out of such a modified material, having these biological molecules in the interior would provide structural support for these cells to regenerate bone tissue. Now these are exciting times because so far in my research, I have successfully synthesized the plastic, successfully modified it, and I'm currently optimizing the implant fabrication process. Once I have the implant ready, I would study its capacity to regenerate and restore broken bone. Now break a leg is a theatrical slang that is used to wish good luck. But because I actually broke my leg when I was a kid, I could never say that to anyone. Maybe once this technology is fully developed and we can provide a better strategy to treat all these six millions of people, maybe I can feel comfortable using that term again. Thank you.